Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This video is all about how to create an eBay seller account with managed payments. We will do a demonstration on how to create an eBay seller account as well as a walkthrough of the eBay interface and we'll also show you how to add payment methods. So watch this video till the end to better understand these steps. To create an eBay seller account, click on the sell button on the top right side of this page. This is the eBay seller page. You can go through this page to know more about the seller account. And if you have decided to continue selling with eBay, click on the my eBay button on the top right corner. This is the login page. If you already have an eBay account, you can log in here or else you need to create an eBay seller account to start selling on eBay. To create an account, click on the Create an Account button here. eBay has two types of accounts. One is the personal account and the second is the business account. If you are a new B seller and want to start your business from scratch, then we recommend you to continue with a personal account. Later on, when your sales start increasing, you can easily switch to a business account. If you are running a non-profit business and you are regularly selling a large number of goods and you are a registered business with tax invoices, then you should continue with the business account. Here you have to enter some basic information like your full name, email address and then create a password and once you are done, click on the register button. Now on the next page, select your country of residence from the drop down menu and then enter your complete address here. Now select your country code and enter your mobile number here. If you don't want to use your mobile number, use this option to enter your landline number and then finally click on the continue button. After successfully signing up, you will be redirected to your dashboard with a welcome screen. To close this pop-up window, click on OK, got it. This is your dashboard, which is also displayed as My eBay. Here on the top right side, you can see your eBay username. This was generated automatically after creating your eBay account. You can change it by just clicking on it. Here on the left side, you will see three different tabs, which are Activity, Messages and Account. Under the Activity tab, you will see many other tabs like Summary, Recently Viewed, Bids and Offers, Purchase History, Watching, Saved Searches, Saved Sellers, My Garage, Selling and Collection Beta. Under the Messages tab, you can view and reply to all the messages communicated between you and eBay or any buyers or sellers. It is just like your mailbox. Under the Account tab, you will see sections like Personal Info, Payment Information, Account Preferences, Selling and Donation Preferences. Use the Personal Info section to change your name email address, shipping address, etc. In the payment information section, you can add payment methods and preferences. The account preferences section allows you to set permissions, preferences, and you can also close your account from here. From the selling section, you can visit your seller dashboard and view your subscriptions. And finally, use the donation preferences section to view your pending donations, invoice of your donations, history, etc. Now, let's add a payment method to our eBay account. Click on Payments under the Payment Information section. To proceed further, you need to enter your password to verify your identity. And after verification, you will be taken to the Payments page where you can add and delete payment options that you have to buy and sell on eBay. Now click on the Continue button. On this page, you can set your payment method. Click on the Add Payment option button. A pop-up window will open. 
and you will find all the payment methods that are available for your country here. Here we have only credit or debit card option. Select it and then click on the continue button. Now here you need to enter your card details including the card number, expiration date, security code and your name. You can use Visa, MasterCard, American Express and Discover cards. This is your eBay address which will also be used as the billing address. You can make changes to it by clicking on the edit button. And once you are done with all of this, click on the continue button and your card information will get stored in eBay. If you click on the PayPal account tab under the payment information tab in the left side bar, you will see a notice that says the ability to link a PayPal account is no longer available. However, any previously linked account remains active. If you're unable to create or revise listings due to this update, disable the require immediate payment with buy it now option in the listing. To start selling on eBay, click on the selling tab under the activity tab in the top left side. You will see options like overview, sell an item, drafts, scheduled, active, sold, unsold, payments and shipping labels. Click on the overview tab. You will be taken to the My eBay Selling Overview page. Here you will see the number of active listings, number of items sold and the number of unsold items. And here you will see the total earnings in the last 90 days. To start selling your products on eBay, you need to list your product on the eBay marketplace. For this, click on either the Sell an Item tab under the Selling tab in the left sidebar or else click here on the List an Item button. Here on this page, you need to specify what product you are going to sell. Enter the product's name and then click on the Search icon. On the next page, eBay will suggest you some of the top products that match your product. Scroll down to find your product in this list. And if your product is not in this list, then click on the Continue without Match button. Now on this pop-up window, select the condition of your item. You have options like New with Tags, New without Tags, New with Defects and Pre-Owned. Select the appropriate option here and then click on the Continue to Listing button. This is the listing page where you need to specify all the details and description about your product, including photos or videos, and you also have to specify the shipping method. And if you want to donate a portion to charity by selling this product, then tick this box and you will get a discount on the basic selling fees for sold items. And once you're done with filling all the details, then you can use this preview button to have a look at the listing of your product. And then you can use this save for later button to save this listing as a draft and later on you can continue with it. And if you want to list the product now on the eBay marketplace, Click on this listed button and your product will be listed for selling. With this, we have completed our tutorial on how to create an eBay seller account. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.